this is a video log on the colouring task. Uh, what we had to do was uh, draw an image and do it with um, different hues and tones. Um, and with this, this was my first attempt. Um, with the, the way I did it was that I used the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool, selected what I needed, cut it out and then coloured it in afterwards. And because of this you had the result of really wobbly outline. And to me it just looks like a mess. Um although looking at it kind of more far away as an artistic viewer, because some of these some are where you have to look more further away to see it properly. Um I think it is good. I do like it. I think it could have been a lot more better. Um, this is actually the world's, world's largest cookie club, or one of the world's largest cookie clubs in Germany. Um, so I think with the different colours, it works. Um, I think I was kind of a bit worried about using the same colours as well, kind of repeating it a little bit. But I think overall, I am happy with this one. Uh, but things like the white showing was where I selected it and coloured it in. So I think if it was a lot more tighter and cleaner, that would have been a lot more better. And then with this one, same kind of stuff like the wiggly lines, but with this one I feel like it works a lot more better as an image than with this one. This one was a little bit too childish than this one. But these, these two really work, and I felt that this one out of I mean, this, to me, I think would, I think, I would think, personally, I'll put it up on my wall. Um, it sounds weird to say that, but I think I really do like it, and the colours really do work, and where I place them as well, I think, works really nicely. Um, and I think because the colours of cookie clocks being obviously made out of wood, I think kind of more dark brownie colours was what I was going for in different tints of, of these uh, kind of oranges, browns, reds, and slowly as you can see it going into the yellows. Um, but all this with the pixelation all around the edges. That's the only problem. I think more tight, cleaner outlines of this it would have been a lot more better, and it would have made a really, really nice image. But overall, really happy with these two. Um, the orange in the clock really did stand out. I think that was probably the best choice because it's central. And if you think of a rule of thirds, really having central, really would because that's mainly what it is. It's a cookie clock, so it tells the time. Um, so the clock phase and the clock is what I wanted to symbolise because of this job, which is something quite different to how I normally do it because I'll pick something really small and there'll be a loads and loads of semiotics or reasons why I picked kind of that in that colour. But with this one, it was, it was mainly for his job to give us a clock, so I mainly went for the faces. Um, but I think the, the selection of placement uh, was was good and worked really well so nothing contrasted, nothing clashed uh, and blended with other colours but overall really happy. The only major problem is this where you can see the, the layer behind it of the photo and this also happens I think with this one as well where you can see it behind and uh, not so much with this one. Um, then I did it again with um, I think it's the Temple of Poseidon. It was Poseidon's temple. Um, and this one just came out really messy. Um, which worried me. Because I kind of didn't really understand what we had to do. Um, but I kind of took what I thought we had to do. And made this. Um, but I still included them because I do like them. It was a very nice, unique artwork, I think, really. So the way that 
that kind of solid colours instead of more like here or where it would kind of more merge at this point. The two colours would kind of merge. The same here, complete different contrast and how bold it is. I think that's what I like about this image more than anything. I think that with these three of the first attempts, um, I do really like them. I think they're really a unique piece of artwork. And to be honest, I'm not used to kind of imagery, so I'm used to kind of moving image. So kind of working as an animator and with the skills of drawing that you have to learn and to keep up with as an animator, uh, was how I kind of thought about how I wanted to do it in the same way that I always go for crazy and not so perfect was with this one where it's all just loads of colours uh, was what I was going for for this one um, and then I did it again because as I said I didn't understand it and I didn't want to get it wrong so I drew myself uh, an image of kind of uh, mountains and, and trees the sky and to me looking at it kind of looks like something that could be used for the hobbit uh maybe a uh, cover or something because the hobbit you have the mr mountains and uh wood and the thrush that knocks on the entrance of um, the, the dwarf's kingdom um to me i think that could work for this uh i am quite worried more with the massive outlines but to me, it, it worked um, with the massive outline. Um, I think it would have been nice to get it more close together, like here, but I think it was really hard to pick it up with the quick selection tool, and I think it would have been better to go around with the pen tool uh, to cut this out than, than with the good quick select tool and the quick select tool and uh, magic one tool. So, um, I think overall, really happy with it. I really like the way that you can actually see the strokes of these than on these because they did use the swatches that we made that are right here at the top. Uh, the swatches that I made here, took them and made this piece. Uh, the bird being red is kind of way that wherever it would be used that maybe it could be used for a story where the bird is important um that red obviously is is really catching to the eye um the color red could be a semi optic that the bird is dangerous could be a hawk just misshapen hawk but these are just interpretations that you could put in from just using semi optics of color and with the blue for for the mountains it could be with the blue that it could be a place for sadness or sorrow uh, with the trees uh, mainly with the trees I think kind of used a more dif uh, a different colour because I think going for obviously the colour of trees uh, is quite um, I think for me quite boring I think I should have I think I should have done better colouring for the, for the trees and then with this one uh, I really like the use of oranges, uh, like I've done before, and it really worked with these, and the results came out, well, really good, apart from things like these outlines, which I don't know how that's happened. Um, also, the problem that I said before with the Magic Wand tool and the Quick Selection tool is that it's merged these, merged these trees together, which doesn't look that nice at all to be honest and with here you can't see the kind of outline of where the end of the trees tree tops and tree selection uh, tree sections even uh, work which is why I think with this one with the outlines work because you really get the the, actual, the, the boldness of the tree the Deformation, I don't know if that's the word uh, of the tree in uh, this one with the contrast, I went with the blue 
it is completely contrasting as you can see here um, I think it was probably the best choice uh, with this you only had to do one colour change and um, if I could could do more I think I would have changed the slope top as well uh, to a different colour maybe red because I think that would have looked um, really different and intriguing to the eye I think so I think really this one would be uh, if I had more freedom would be to add this to be red and then moving now with it's kind of space scene with a lot of greens because kind of unusual colour to use for for creating a painting I think it's something that can create something beautiful but it's a colour that's like I said you don't really use so to kind of do that it would be quite tricky but as an artist you have to have the correct imagination I would say to get it looking nice with 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 greens. Um, I chose the brightest one because this was kind of a sun. Uh, this was a planet here and this was the planet that this character is on and this is the mountainside and another moon here and a, a flying creature that's inhabited on this planet um, and with using the dark of the sky works well 